we got the handlebars here. This is a set of our inch and a half diameter jar heads. These are 12 inches tall, gloss black. This is our complete setup, as complete as it can get. Plug and play wiring, which is one of the things we're known for and we've been doing since 2002. One piece harness all the way down to the connector, guaranteed wiring, not gonna have any problems with it. We do offer other kits where you can do the wiring yourself and, and mess with all that. It's not an easy job, especially when you have you know hard corners or points to go around, big thick harnesses. Uh, you know, there's, there's mistakes that can happen. There's other videos out there you can watch that'll show you how to do it, not a problem at all. We get plenty of handlebars from people that have actually messed it up and we redo it for them. So it doesn't matter to us. Point is, get the handlebars on your bike. This kit has got the gloss black controls, stainless bolts. This guy elected to get some grips also. And one of the things that we do, if you buy grips from us, you know, obviously they're there and we're building the bars. We'll go ahead and put them on before we get no extra charge. So that's one less thing you have to do on your install. Also on throttle cable bikes, such as this one, since we have the parts there, we install and hook up the throttle cables for you. So everything on top is done. Bolt them down, plug them in. Super clean, easy setup. This is an 07 model. So it comes with two individual riser clamps or straps is what I call them. You know, they go on the bike, something like that. And that's what holds your handlebars down. When you go to taller handlebars, it puts more leverage on that riser clamp. So you need something to clamp better. You need more surface area. In 2008, Harley started putting this on from the factory. So it's all the way across instead of two individual pieces and it gives you much more grip and it does a great job. We sell these and we typically recommend something like this up to 12 inch bars. Anything over 12 inch, you're getting enough leverage on those risers where they could possibly slip. So we came out with the Gorilla Grabber. This one's made out of aluminum instead of steel. And the reason that is is because we want the knurling to really grip into this aluminum so it doesn't slip. On top of that, we put set screws in there that you can run down into the handlebars to further grip, you know, and tighten down on them, so to speak, so those bars don't move at all. And it really works. Last thing, you should just do this on every handlebar job, but these are polyurethane riser bushings, and this is what goes under the riser clamp. That allows some dampening, you know, so it's not rigid to the front end. But the ones from Harley are made out of rubber and they're soft and as they get old, they get just kind of, just crappy to be honest with you. So you really want to replace them. 14 bucks, it's not the end of the world. Uh, this is the time to do it when you have the handlebars off. It's all exposed, it's super easy to do. If you got them, knock them out. If you don't have them, go get some because you'll thank yourself later. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. And uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. If you have any videos or topics you'd like us to discuss, please let us know that as well. We'd love to do some more videos for you. If you want to see the latest releases of our videos or our channel, please hit the subscribe button and go ahead and give us that thumbs up. Thanks for watching.